Good morning, Pokemon community. I'm here to bring you another battle of good quality, I believe. And this is one where I'm using my standard team again, and it's against a random opponent. And I believe you guys will like this one. So let's get into it. No delay. When do I not lead with my superior? Anyways, so he hits me with the close combat, but I was thinking I could set up and then hit him with a powered up leaf blade from the sword dance, but I forgot that he comes with a shit ton of priority. I mean, sucker punch, mock punch, fake out, Jesus Christ. So, um, whatever the case may be, I go into Virgo now because even though Nido, I mean, even though um, Hitmontop has good special defense, I think uh, Earth Power will finish him off. And so he sends in his Nidoking, King, and um, I don't know what he was thinking here. I mean, I had the stab earth power, maybe he thought I was a setup, but whatever the case may be, that's one big threat out of the way. I mean, Nidoking Queen hits hard, so you know Nidoking King must hit like a truck. So he comes in with Victini, revenge killing with Recreate, but he has to be Choice Scarfed, because usually people think Nidoking Queen is Choice Scarfed. If that's the case, I have defense EVs, and if it's not a powered up Recreate, I'm not dying. Look at the sheer bulk that Nidoking Queen has. I mean, I took the Recreate to the face, 50 HP, retaliate with the earth power, Victini is not surviving that. I'm really impressed with Nidoking Queen actually. So um, he comes in with his Hitmontop, and Nidoking Queen already took out two big threats, so I believe its purpose was served, so I let it get revenge killed here, which is probably a big mistake for the future, but we'll see. So I go in there with um, my Excel Gore, and I was going to hit it with a Focus Blast, because I, th I thought that would finish it off. And he predicts me actually quite nicely, and so Zapdos is sent out, and it's like, damn it. I can tell this is going to be a really long battle. Fortunately, I'm able to hit him with the Hidden Power Ice because I learned a lesson. Always have Excel Gore with Hidden Power Ice in this game. There's too many dragons running around. And luckily it pays off. It does a lot more damage than I thought it would. And this Zapdos, even though he's able to take it relatively well and sub up at the same time with Roost, I believe that if I put enough pressure with the Hidden Power Ice, I can kill him or at least take him down to a point where he'll be low enough to revenge kill with my Weavile. And so he goes for the Discharge, there's no way in freaking hell I'm living that, because Discharge to an Excel Gore will rip it in half. And so, he, um, I think he's at a low enough HP point. So I go in with X-23, who's my ultimate revenge killer of the team, and um, he probably thinks I'm going for an Ice Shard, but I run Retaliate on my X-23. I mean, it's an odd move to run, but it does the damn job. I mean, it does a lot of damage on top of everything else that and priority moves as well, I can usually finish off mo most bulky Pokemon in a few hits. So I go into my Bufferant because I have Wild Charge, so I know I'm going to be able to take it as long as I don't get burned and I'm good. So um, yeah, this Blastoise has something coming to him, but he goes into Deoxys! Prepare yourselves for the biggest Star War that's ever been premiered on Etika Battles. I mean, this Deoxys, I miss the first Megahorn, right? And so, I'm pretty much trying to take it down with Bufferon, because I don't want something else to come in and possibly get toxic. But the thing is, I have a Life Orb, and a lot of my moves have recoil damage as well, so I'm slowly killing myself here, and it's like, this Deoxys does not want to die anytime soon. I'm literally ripping my own hair out as I'm trying to figure out how I can kill this thing and my Megahorns keep missing and yet it keeps recovering at the same time so I'm feeling that I'm gonna die for my own life orb before I kill this thing. So you see I'm struggling with a big headache with this thing right now. God.
Finally, the Megahorn is able to hit, and this thing goes down town. Thankfully, it didn't miss, because if it did, it would have been bad news. He's able to set up a layer of spikes on me, but I don't think it matters too much. And he comes in with his Zapdos, and he roosts on me. So I think he's sleeping on the sheer power that Bufferon has. So I take the liberty of this and go into a head charge, hopefully castrating this thing. It lives with a smidgen, and uh, he's lucky he lived with just a smidgen, because I would have taken the whole ball off if I could have. So, um, pretty good stuff. Three, my ultimate priority killer comes in, finishes Zapdos off, and now I have this hit on top. I feel that as long as he gets paralyzed from that fake out, I'll be able to kill him with the ice shard. And he does, thankfully, and the ice shard is a critical hit, but I mean, this game is rampant with critical hits. He shouldn't be mad at that. So his Blastoise comes in, and I use the punishment, and he dragon tails me out. Luckily, it doesn't kill me, and I go into my Lapras. Um, you all remember my Lapras from different battles. Siren. She's a curse set. She has shell armor, protected from critical hits, etc., etc. She, she's really good. So um, I believe that I'll be able to outstall this Blastoise because if I curse up and I hit him with enough um, bulldozers, he'll be finished. So he tries to scald me. Of course, it does no damage at all. And yet he, I, I believe he was trying to probably burn me to be able to stall me out. But um, I'm believing that I'll be able to take this. I mean, with enough bulldozers and curses, he'll be able to be taken down. No issue. He dragon tails me though. He has stealth rock up. Remember that. He goes into Weavile. Finishes me off with the Stealth Rock. Now, the only Pokemon that I have left is Siren. And um, this is really not a good situation for me at all. Because I don't really have anything that can finish this, that, this Blastoise off that fast. Plus, I took an immense amount of Entry Hazard damage. I mean, the Stealth Rock and the Spikes, this is not looking good for me at all. And he goes for the Scald here. Even though the Scald does absolutely no damage at all, I get the burn. Ugh. God. Even with leftover recovery, that burn plus the next scald is going to finish me off. Damn. That was a damn good battle though. I mean, I'm not going to lie. My opponent was really good. I only wish I knew what his name was. I mean, I would definitely like a rematch, but um, very impressive battle. 